Hello and welcome to your next tutorial in XHTML. And it appears we're almost done with this series. I'm quite excited. This is, this is very exciting. Um, and in this one, we're going to be learning about multimedia, how to upload audio and video files, or how to embed them on your website, or create external links to those uh, video or audio files. So first, let's do the external links, because that's easier. And how you do this is you create anchor tags, then type in whatever text you want. Click here for music. And then type in the URL or wherever on your web server you have your audio file that you may have uploaded yourself. And in this case, I'm going to use Halo 3 theme dot wave. And when I refresh the page, it should be there. And let me move the mic, so let's make sure it works. Well, it appeared to work, so that's really good. And the advantage of doing it this way, making external links, is so the user can right-click and click Save Link As. And they can then save it as the file type, the file name, onto their computer bit more difficult to do that when you embed it on the page rather than this way. And you can do the same thing for video files. So I would change this to gun sounds WMV. So I'll save that. Refresh the page and then when I click it, I'll have this full screen here but video files are a wee bit more complicated. You can't just start it. However, the user can still save it onto their computer and it will play. It will be, they will have access to it. So let's get into actually embedding it on the page so a user doesn't have to click a link. Uh, how you do this is by using object tags. So we're going to have to say goodbye to these anchor tags. Now, inside the object tag, we're going to have to specify the data attribute, and what that is, is the URL or wherever on your web server the file is. So, I'm going to do the Halo 3 theme. Then, you can specify the height in pixels of the player. 45 pixels is pretty standard. Always use that one, that's what I recommend. And for width, there's actually four different widths you can use. You can use 42 pixels, 66, 118, and 250. I almost always recommend using 250 unless you have to squeeze it in somewhere. And the reason is because it shows how many features there are. The play button, the pause, the volume control. You'll see. Oh, there it is, and it's playing. So when you squeeze this... Um, less and less controls become visible. So like if you have the 118 you'll be left with this. No volume control. Well, yeah, no volume control. Alright, here it is. And then there's... I've never really messed with these other ones. The 66. Even less. You can't even see where it is. And then probably the worst idea ever, the 42 pixels. Then there's just about nothing there. All you can pretty much control there is the start and pause, play and pause. And that's pretty much it for audio files. Now for video files, video files are a little bit more complicated. First of all, let me keep the data attribute and just type in the name of the file. So mine was gunsounds.wmv I almost always recommend using uh, any kind of file type that's compatible with Windows Media Player because it, it's so much more linear it, it gets quite a bit more complicated with these special codes in, in, uh, that you have to use if you're going to be using different file types so I recommend just using WMV because you can always use it this way so one thing that I 
don't encourage you to remember, just to always have waiting in the wings in a text document, is the type when you're messing with WMV or, or any kind of file that's com compatible with WMVs like AVIs. And for the type for Windows, this is a code base, like, you know, for the Apples, the Flash, these weird things that I will have links to. Uh, so you can copy and paste and from W3's website because they have um, they make it much uh, more clear for copy and paste just make it much easier for you uh, but for the windows the type is this so I'm going to copy and paste this and don't worry I will have this for you in the description or on my website wherever you're watching this now click save then after that we can put down height in pixels so I'll make that 300 and the width. I'll make that 300 pixels as well. And when I refresh the page, oh, there's the video. So check that out. My guns and video. Now you can see you still have all your controls. It's it's the 300 by 300. It's, it's really nice. Um, other than that, that's pretty much it for multimedia but I should probably show you a YouTube example so I'm gonna go to YouTube and I don't know I'm gonna I'm just gonna type in my fun my Halo 3 gun sounds video here it is the one that you guys saw Um, and what you do is you go down to the share and I, I cannot guarantee this will stay the same YouTube has changed so much I really dislike this new format for everything this new style that they made horrible but then after when you click the share click the embed and you'll find this in, embed code and you can modify it here like um, watch right here as I click the Oh wow, it doesn't have everything that I saw before. Maybe they've changed things already since the last time I was here. Well, I guess you can just copy this directly. As you can see, they use iframe tags. Just their own thing. So you can copy that. And paste that directly. Let's see how this comes out. Hopefully it won't come out too messy. Control V. Oh jeez. I'll save that, then I'll refresh my page, and here it is, um, a YouTube video. So you can just click play, and there it is. And that pretty much wraps it up for multimedia. I believe the next video I'm going to show you how to upload your website, so I hope you're excited. I'm really excited because this, this was a lot of stuff. Not that many videos, but it was a lot of stuff. Uh, and uh, I hope you got something great winning the wings, something you're really excited about uploading to the internet. And I'll show you how to do that using FileZilla.